Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dane Hop Realtors. Once again, in my favorite master plan community in uh, New Braunfels, Texas. Of course, we're talking about Vintage Oaks. But we're in a different special part of Vintage Oaks. We're in one of the gated communities, and in my opinion, uh, probably one of the best gated communities in Vintage Oaks. You have a larger home requirement here, and this place is absolutely gorgeous. There's a custom home built by Vintage Luxury Homes in just 2023, so this is a very brand new home. It is a five bedroom, five and a half bath home with 4,200 square feet, and I can't wait to show it off. So let's head on out front and start the tour. Now, as I'm filming this, it is about seven o'clock at night. The sun is starting to set, but you notice what direction the sun is setting. Yes, it's setting on the front of the house, which is ideal for if you want to do happy hour in the back area and uh, wait till you see the back area. It's definitely a place where you want to have some cocktails. But the seller, um, they spent a lot of money doing a uh, this landscaping out here, a dry scape, so you don't have to worry about watering the lawn. Uh, maintaining it, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. Where we are in the community, if um, if you see my motorcycle tour showing off the area, the main amenity center is just kind of right down the road here. So you got easy access, and this isn't a gated community section of it. So you're really not gonna have a lot of traffic up here. Um, there's a lot of really large, beautiful homes. Um, you are, because we're in a gated community, you're looking at about a thousand dollars a year HOA fees versus the 780 or whatever it is nowadays for the rest of the community. Notice we got a one car garage on this side and a two car garage on the other side. Definitely love the color of this metal roof. It's one of the requirements in this section because they want to keep it a little more high end than everything else. All right, let's head on inside and uh, start the tour of the inside part. All right, the car is gone, so you get a little better view of what this little uh, space looks like right up front. I do like the little neat seating area space too, but gorgeous entryway. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button. It definitely helps out the algorithms, but check out this door. Beautifully done. Glass door. We do like our glass doors here. All right, this home was built, like I said before, by Vintage Estate, slash Vintage Luxury now. And they're one of my favorite builders in this community. I've got a client from San Diego who's considering using them as their builder. But right up front, you've got this really cool office space. You've got your French doors coming in. So let's see what your view from uh, what the office would look like. Not bad. And you can see whenever anybody wants to come home, you'll get to see them first. All right. Coming in, definitely love this big living space right here. Plenty of room. Definitely did the accent ceiling there. Lots and lots of lighting in here. The sun's starting to go down, so it's not as bright as it was just a little bit ago. They did have an open house in this area by Miss Shelby Brentfield. Uh, there she is. This shout out to her for letting me do this video. Uh, her group does so many listings in this community. So if you happen to be living in Vintage Oaks and you see this video and looking for someone to list your property, definitely reach out to her. But if you're on the West Coast and looking to move to this area, definitely gonna want you to reach out to me. But lots and lots of space. Remember this is just over 4,000 square feet and lots and lots of space in here. Looking at the Dining room space, lots of room in here. Another cute little accent ceiling there. Definitely love that. Love the granite on here. This is, uh, they do have uh, gas cooking. So cool six cooktop burner. And that is a very nice plan. Ah, I've been talking so much. Uh, company for it. And your view from behind the sink. We got our single base sink. This house is on the market right now for just under $1.5 million. And that's definitely a good deal because we're in this house that's uh, just over one acre. And I'm gonna show you why um, I think it's a great deal because of this backyard space. Let's head on back there and I can show that off to you. As soon as I find where the door's at. There we go, all right. This outdoor space is just designed for entertaining. Tall roof up here, we've got a fan, we've got an outdoor fire, I mean a fireplace there, your whole built-in kitchen as well. 
And like I said, the sun sets on the front of the house. So this is all shade right now. And if you can see it, I don't know if the camera's gonna point out, but you got a really nice view out the back of that of the property. And it goes back a little bit further there too. They has got a fenced in some, but a gorgeous fire pit set up and they kind of built a new little burn right here because they want to kind of block the view of the house next door to them down the road but they got new little trees growing up there <clears throat> so eventually that's going to grow in and you're going to have just tons of privacy back here well a lot of privacy but definitely love having the fire pit easy to maintain lawn so the grass is just kind of this space right here more view of the back of the house and we got zoysia grass. I definitely like zoysia as a grass. Very thick. Uh, it kind of helped keep the weeds out as well. All right, let's head on back in and check out the rest of this house. We got so much to see. One of the things I really do like is uh, this wall here. They, so many things you could do for so little cost it just makes a world of difference all they did was just tack these little boards up and it looks like a little spilled paint almost coming down or rain uh dripping so like it looks so cool i really like that a lot all right into the uh, back part of the house we got another little entertainment space so one person will be watching a football game in here the other person will be watching something out front i definitely love these beams up top as well so super cool having two different living spaces. All right, bedroom wise, we got some large bedrooms. These are definitely larger than your typical bedroom. And every bedroom in this house is gonna have its own bathroom. So here's your own full bath in this one. This one has a tub. Oh, don't wanna forget the closet. So someone is living here, but these are good sized closets. I want to do my, I'm going to be doing my best throughout this video to respect their privacy. All right, let's go down the hallway because something I haven't mentioned yet is they have a casita in this house. So, or mother-in-law suite, whatever you want to call it, but they already have that built in. Your powder room, and I love the fact that it's kind of a little bit off the main space, kind of tucked around the corner here. All right, here comes our another bedroom. Once again, good sized bedroom, tall ceilings, lots of light. But this bedroom has a shower in it versus a tub. And I guess it's going to have a really big closet. And it does. That's a good sized closet. Coming around here, we're getting into the casita area. But first, we have another bedroom back here. Once again, I love the, what they did on the back wall there. And of course, it's going to have its own bathroom. This one's going to have a shower tub combination. Yep. So yeah, if you've got a group of kiddos, this is perfect. There you go. Good size closet. But this is what I'm seeing more and more people build houses with a casita because if you've got like a mother-in-law or somebody who you're not wanting to put them up in a private home because that's just kind of expensive. But if you want to keep them close, having a casita like this, this could be your living room, your own private entry coming in from the driveway, which is very important to give someone that independence to come and go as they please. You have your own, put a different refrigerator in there right now. They're using this kind of as a little man room, little poker room. Got some nice whiskey stuff set up over there. But you can have a little sink and a little cooktop. And in this room, you can have a really nice bedroom set up. So it's a good sized bedroom. Once again, tall ceilings, lots of light, your own bathroom. And uh, this is gonna have oh, a lot of, a lot of uh, stuffies there. But this room also has, all right, no need to go into that closet. It's the same size as the rest of them. But remember I showed you that there's one car garage off on this side. If you don't have a 
multiple cars you need in one garage, car garage. This is perfect if you wanted to turn this into your own private gym. Um, we had some people come through the open house and they were looking for a place to put their own gym, but this would be ideal for it. Might want to do something to get a little air conditioning in here, but you have lots of space to do that. All right, back into the little man space area. Really do like this a lot. Let's go head off to the other side of the house and check that out too. Definitely love this space. All right. Before we go check out the master bedroom, I wanna go poke into the garage over here and kind of show this space here off. So it comes zigzagging around the corner. Really neat little mudroom space right there. Your oversized two car garage, almost, there's pretty much a three car garage in here. Lots and lots of space, tell they got lots of storage in here. Plenty of room to put three different cars in here if you needed to. Water softener, which uh, is already paid for, comes with the house. Two water uh, heaters, so you're never gonna run out of hot water. And we'll see that room in just a second. Coming through to the pantry, because I almost forgot this. It's a really good size pantry. Lots and lots of space in there. All right, now we're gonna finally get to the master bedroom because it is big and it is beautiful. All right, lots and lots of space in the master bedroom and tons of windows in here. Got your tray ceiling up top. Really good space. But then coming into the bathroom, I like the fact they went a little fun with the tile floor there. Love the spacing in here, plenty of room. Some of the houses you feel kind of crowded in the master bath. Not this one. You've got full adult height cabinets, countertops there, gorgeous soaking tub, and then another sink and your makeup space. This should be just a linen closet, and that's exactly what it is. But you got your water closet right there, plenty of space in there, but check out this shower. Gorgeous shower. Oh, I almost forgot to tell one of my little rules about casitas. Oh, and you got two heads there. When you have a casita, if you do have your mother-in-law or somebody staying with you, if they've got that door closed, that kind of means they want to be left alone. So just let them. Another closet. All right, trying to respect our privacy for this master bedroom closet. I'm not showing off too much, but I do want to show off the space in here. We got plenty of shoe racks. You can even put an island in here if you wanted to. But yeah, just tons of space in here. A lot more hanger things I'm just not going up for a reason. But coming here, this is what I always call my sneaky needs to have access to your laundry room from the master bedroom is such a smart move because you're literally going from like your washer and dryer to putting it up. It's just so easily done. But a really good sized laundry room in here. Lots of shelf space, I mean countertop space if you want to do your folding and stuff before you go in. Or they've got little Tide Pod things. Don't eat those. All right, I do like this house a lot. Remember, um, this house was built in just 2023, so it's a brand new house built by Vintage Luxury. It is a gorgeous home, and it is on the market right now as of 6 September, 2024. All right, that's gonna do it for tour of this beautiful custom home that's on the market right now as of 6 September, 2024 in the gated section of Vintage Oaks. New Braunfels, Texas. Got any questions, I'm here for you. All my contact information will be on the final slide. And if you wanna reach out to me, uh, best way to do that is go to the description box where I'm gonna have my email, a link to my Calendly app if you wanna schedule a Zoom meeting with me. All those are easy ways to get a hold of me. Don't go this process alone. Feel free to use a real estate agent. Well, if you have one, stick with yours. But if you don't have one, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help. All right, take care for now. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but always remember, share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. <laughs> Bye.